Now, beef cheeks are one of the most underused cuts of meat at the butchers, but we're here to change all of that. Dean Diplock from the Radisson Blue Hotel in Athlone joins us today, and you have promised that we will love beef cheeks. I'm telling you, we'll be converted. <clears throat> it's one of the cheapest cuts, yes. You're looking between five and eight euros a kilo. Great value. So, <clears throat> excellent value for money. Very low fat. Oh, as well, which is and also very good. suddenly very trendy. It's kind of yes. like come out of nowhere, hasn't yeah, it? It's yeah, on menus yeah. everywhere. It now. has. It has a very distinct, strong taste to it. I mean, obviously, there's a lot. It's a muscle that's used a lot, so there's a lot of connective tissue. There is a cap of fat over the top of it, but your butcher can easily remove that for you. And all you're left with is this lovely, lean piece of meat. There is connective tissue in between, but leave that. You do want that. It gives you that lovely jelly taste and actually thickens your, your sauce up. It looks like tongue or something. Uh, it's it's mm. along the lines it's of a very dark, dark color, meat. Isn't it? Yeah, the dark meat, almost like an ostrich colour to the meat, okay. actually, yeah. So what we do you is... You have a job here on your hands, Dean, I'll be honest well, with you, because neither you, of us are souls. You can't go wrong, <laughs> just I can assure yeah. you. <laughs> what I've done is I've, I've split it into two parts, just for time purposes, and a nice cast iron pot. I've braised the, the cheeks, and you will find that they will ball up a little bit. As I said, the connective tissue will uh, toughen up a bit, tighten up a little bit, okay. like that. So we've browned them very nicely, and uh, <laughs> we can then start with our mipois. And that is just the onion, carrot, and celery. Uh, sweat it down. And to that, we're going to then start adding other ingredients. We've got our garlic that we then add into that. I have prepared our spices in advance, cumin, coriander, and clove. Uh, toast it off and then add that in as well. How long have they been sweating for, Dean? Uh, this has been sweating a good few minutes now. Um, what you'd want to start, you can use the same pot, as I said, so it's a one-pot wonder. Okay. Uh, you go in with your onions after you've taken your meat out to let it rest for a little while, put a little water into it just to help the steaming process, mm -hmm. put the lid back on and let it sweat slowly. Once they're nice and glassy, then you go in with your carrots and your celery and just cook them down about 10 minutes or so, just okay. until they're soft. Again, put the lid on. If it starts getting a bit dry, add a little bit more water and that's basically it. Don't let them burn. You don't want too much colour on them, as you can see. Uh, to that, I'm then going to add your tomato paste. This is going to give you that lovely, rich tomato flavour to it. I love the way that you have the vegetables so perfectly chopped into cubes. Yes. Like all of Dean and his chef's colleagues would do that, Anna, as you know, on the show. Yes. But then, do you ever get when you're at home and you're, going, you're saying, oh, I'm going to do cubes, and then halfway through you get bored, and they just end up being... <laughs> Way before halfway through. They just you get do... bigger and bigger, the pieces. Yeah, 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 yeah. They can, yeah. That's different practice, cuts is as it? You go. It's just a lot of practice, okay. basically. And, and help. And, 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 help. and help for those <laughs> who need it, yeah. Uh, we're also going to then add our other sauces to that. I have Worcester sauce. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Okay, Lovely. so we're going to deglaze, basically, mm -hmm. with all of this. We've then got our soy sauce, which we've put in there, and some balsamic vinegar. Lovely. That gives you that lovely, acidic, rich, sweet taste to it as well. And then our red wine, which is a constant and absolute necessity. Love all the ingredients going yes. in. Yes. So, again, it's almost along the lines of the same ingredients you do your lamb shank with. Um, you know, along the same uh, principle. Uh, the, veg, the herbs we then add is fresh basil, uh, sorry, bay leaf and uh, thyme. Simmer that for a little while. And at this point now, we're going to add our beef cheeks back into this now. Oh, right, OK. OK, so... So they're cooked and you're adding them back in? I've just sealed them. Okay. They're not cooked as such. They, okay. they, they're going to take a good two hours, two and a half hours to cook. Wow. Okay. Um, it's a low and slow. What's nice about this recipe is, A, you can prepare it the day in advance. It freezes very well. It keeps very well in the fridge. And also, you can pop it in the oven and go out for two hours. It cooks itself. You know, you don't have to worry about it at all. I'm going to add a very good veal stock now. Uh, again, this is purchasable. You can buy them vacuum-packed. You just want to cover the meat up. And that's such. obviously going to reduce significantly, but it's not going to dry out. No, it's not going to um, reduce a huge amount because we're actually going to put a lid on it. It may go down to about a third, but you can always top it up. I wouldn't concern too much about it because we are going to check it about an hour into the cooking process. I'm just going to add two beef cubes or uh, stock jellies to that. Mix it up all together. So and you've got a jug of stock, <coughs> veal yes. stock, as well as the two cubes. Correct, because that's got no seasoning in it. You okay. know, a veal stock is just neutral. It's got all the flavour of the meat, but there's no salt in it. Mm -hmm. I've added uh, the, the, the bouillon now just to give it some flavour okay. to cook into it. Uh, if we put too much salt in it at this stage, you know, it's going to end up, once it's reduced, quite a, quite a, a salty dish. Is the dish. meat salty itself? Not right, really. Yeah. I season it slightly just on the outside when you, when you cook it off, but, but that's all. It then goes into the oven at 200 degrees Celsius. And for how long? Okay. At this point, we leave it for about an hour. Take it out, 
Give it a stir just to make sure it's not catching. I doubt very much it would be with the amount of liquid. As long as you've covered the meat, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Put it back into the oven again for another hour. When we put it in initially, we, for 15 minutes, sorry, at uh, 200 degrees Celsius, we turn it down to 150 and then let it sit low and slow, as they say. Okay. At this point, you can go shopping for an hour and a half. It's perfectly fine as well. Come back again, give it a stir. And then lastly, an hour later, so two hours cooking time, we then add our thickening agent, which I've just gone and bought uh, some Bisto, mm -hmm. uh, gravy thickening agent, and also some gravy powders, two gravy powders for, for the recipe, which is four cheeks. We cut the cheeks in half. You can get your butcher to do that. So in total, you've got eight pieces. That feeds eight people. Okay. in total. So it's substantial, yeah. It's quite a substantial dish and again, as I said, freezes very well. You thicken it up, put it back in the oven for half an hour and it's ready. Wow. Simple as that. It's a good, heavy, rich dish, isn't yes. it? Yes, yes. Hearty. Love hearty dish. Yes, hearty definitely. Dish. I'm looking forward to tasting it later. Excellent. You Zed. can't go wrong.